My name is Unite the Clans, and in today's episode of Ark Survival Evolved from the Iron Mind server, we are building a triple shark pen. Stay tuned, I got a lot of good stuff in store for you guys. Cannot wait. What is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here, back in your life. And today we are going to be looking at building a naval pen. Mick and Chris and I tamed up all them sharks recently and we have nowhere to put them. So I've gone ahead and started off with this big old boardwalk. And oh, hope I'm not loud there. And I'm going to have to try and bridge across. I think I'm going to build the main pen on the other side of these big rocks. These big rocks help me decide where to put this. I thought it would be cool if I could bridge over there. We'll see. Um, I think... I haven't done much work with just pillars and ceilings. It seems like you can go two away uh, in any sort of direction. Um, so if I can build one here, uh, I should be able to build another, but then the next one is gonna need a pillar, I think. Uh, I'll make as many as I can make, and I do have a few pillars on the old inventory. Alright, so that's, see, that's not going to work as is, because we're already two away. So I'm going to have to do some pillaring. Uh, if I can get one through the rock, that's the big, oh yes, I can. I can totally just weave one in down here. I can totally do that. So then I'll, I'll be able to get two uh, platform, ceiling platforms away from this one. And that might get me, that might get me to the other side. We'll see. Is that rain? That is rain. Okay, no. No, I'm screwed. There's no way I'm getting one through there. Look at the size of this rock. Alright, guys, I may... I may have to mess around with this for a while, and I'll come back to you. Alright, guys, so it took some fiddling. A lot of fiddling, to be honest, but I've gotten there. Oop. Let me fix that for you. So... I managed to get my way out to where I want to start the pen. I put a pillar down. What I'm going to do is add another ceiling here. We're going to pillar down from that. And then this is going to be as wide as the pen is. I'm not sure if I'm building a pen to fit all the sharks. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how it's going to work, but we'll see. I'm going to definitely be able to get started and be able to get one in here. And then I can always expand it lengthwise once I got it in. But we'll have to get this down and this is going to have no trouble. So guys, I have been, uh, I've had a few days off, and I've admittedly been spending probably too much time on the old YouTube. I don't, I don't know what it is, but maybe, I must really enjoy this if my free time gets dumped into it. But I've had a bunch of days off, and with a bunch of days off, old UTC is going to work on some videos for you guys. Maybe my life is too boring. Maybe I need some, <laughs> a little inspiration in my life. But, uh, for now, all my inspiration is coming from ARK. All right, I'll come back to you guys. So what I'm gonna do now, I think we're gonna build, uh, I think we're gonna build the walls out of this pen, out of door frames and out of window frames. So the door frames I'm gonna do, yeah. And I think I'll do one here and then we're gonna do the door frame in the middle of it. And I may, may end up adding one more section of of ceilings after that pillar if I can make it happen and we'll throw these in and then what I'm gonna have to figure out is how I'm gonna work around these ramps uh, if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to demolish them uh, I tried lining up the door or uh, the window wall with them right at the beginning but I gotta figure out how to complete this pen how the wall meets the ramp um, and we're out, so let's hop in to Master Splinter here, Mistress Splinter, and grab some of the basics, and we'll see. If I can throw a ramp down here, that would be done, but I may want to bring this wall up. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's blast this one here. Uh, I'll put in a couple walls on either side, and then maybe we'll be able to get the, uh, the ramps in and looking slick. Um, I'm gonna have to probably make some of the supplies we'll need, guys. Uh, oh yeah, I don't even, I don't even know if I have them. I think I'm out of fiber. Yeah, I'm out of fiber. I will, uh, come back. Alright guys, so I've gone with towers on either side. The standard gate is, uh, too wide, and, uh, I'm, th my platform was three wide, so what I did was off-center those towers, where I, uh, 
uh, I'll show it to you when we get up there. We got to get these pillars in to support it. And then once we have, we'll have, be able to put a big uh, freaking gate on here. Now building in this like coral and stuff down here. Oh God, it's been a pain because you can't see all the way to the bottom. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Tell me we're good. Let's try placing a wall here. I'm in rough shape. Okay, hold on. All right, guys, so that's how it's looking. And I think what we're going to do is just snap the stone gateway right in between. Um, but what I'm going to want is some foundations. All right, guys, so I got some foundations. We're back. Uh, we're going to put a couple of them across, if I can, across the entrance here. It might be hard with all the snap points, but we'll see if they want to play along. And then once we have two across here... Yes, 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 that is where I want it. Then we'll put one on the other side, they'll meet in the middle of that pillar, and I think once this is done, the uh, the gate should snap into place like a boss. We'll see, right now, right here. Come on, baby, come on. Oh god, it is shifting all over the, yes, there we go. Wait, I don't know which side we want facing. I don't know if it matters on, on this gate. There. Perfect. No, nope. perfect. Go! Oh! Shite. I'll be back. All right, guys. Hop, skip, and a jump away from finishing this this gateway. So uh, this should lock into place. I got a whole new gate. And you know what the problem is? The problem is that we're floating, and I'm drifting ever so slightly. So let's go on, get up here. If I can do, get up here. There we go. And this should should work for me now. Yeah. One. Oh. There we go. Come on, baby. How good does that look? I love it. Now, the only question is, does a shark fit through here? <laughs> Should have done a test fit, eh, UTC? But it's a pretty cool shark pen. I'm going to want to build the walls up, but we might just go get a shark and see how it looks. Yeah. I love it. That looks so good. Uh, I think I'm going to bring these towers up, though. I think I'm going to bring them up out of the water. The size of the gate. Oh, welcome back, guys. Uh, I think this is giving me trouble because there's too many snap points. Uh, as you can see, we got a wall that runs into a pillar, and then I centered a... F you can't really see it, but I centered a foundation on the pillar, or a, uh, a ceiling on the pillar, and we built the towers around those. So that's how we turned a three-wide pen to having a two-wide entrance for the gate. Um, but if once I get the ceiling in place, I feel like the walls will lock where I want them to lock. And yes, they will. And we're going to have to back up and, and have a look and see how this looks. Um, but I'm liking it so far. Uh, we're just going to repeat the process over here. So I'll do a ceiling on top. I don't think I can stand on this wall. If I can get up on here, then maybe. Uh, so we'll do a ceiling on top. And then the other two walls are going to lock in like they wouldn't have if we hadn't had that ceiling in place. Yes. And one more. All right, this is starting to come together. Perfect. It doesn't look, it looks a little dirt from underwater, but from above the water, it looks awesome. It looks pretty great. So what I want to do next is expand this wall. Guys, we are going to run this. We're going to get it one block higher. And we're either going to do ceilings or platforms on top. Not platforms. Uh, catwalks. And I think I'm going to have to demolish another gate to finish this. Because that wall looks pretty derpy. Just coming vertically out of the water like that. Uh, let's see what we got. We got plenty of what we need. We got all uh, all what we need. Give me. Give me. Give me. Alright. So uh, I think what's in order is demolish a couple of ramps. Build a couple more. Maybe three walls right no, it's not going to let me do it, is it? Okay, I'm too heavy. Okay, so put one there. Am I still too heavy? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to unload here in Splinter, and I think what is required is for me to expand the platform that's on... God dang it. Take this and keep it, you stupid beaver. I can't even walk carrying so much crap. You handle this. Okay, so what what is required is right see right down there one more ceiling with a pillar in it and once i do that i'm going to be able to complete this i'll just run the wall straight until it hits the dock um, but that means yeah so if i put one here this might do the trick 
But I don't think I can place one over this gap, if it'll even snap into place, which it won't. No, of course not. So I'll put, I'll, uh, I'll get one more ceiling. I'll run pillars to the ground. I'll do the same thing on the other side, right, right around here. Um, cool. We're back, guys. Ramps have been demolished. Walls have been built. Ramps will be rebuilt. Start at the top, maybe. Yeah, let's... Come on. These can be so dang tricky sometimes. That one's perfect. And then now they should line up. The whole thing with Ark is about snap points and building. And once you learn that, once you learn, like, what, what's going to snap to what, and you can predict it, building goes a lot easier. Uh, like, knowing you have to put the top one in to make the bottom one fit, that, that kind of stuff... Like, I, I've done a lot of destroying and rebuilding in this video, but I think I've learned some tips and tricks. We now have a wall that runs not quite all the way out to our towers, but we're going to do that right now. Okay, so a catwalk. We're going to do another catwalk, and as we go, we're going to build ooh, a little server leg. Try it again. Perfect. So as we go, we're going to build uh, walls out, continue the windowed walls, and we're going to build... Um, is that going to work? Yes, I can make a ton of those. Perfect. Exactly what I need. Uh, so as we... Hmm. Okay, I guess I can't. Okay, so we'll place this here. And then we'll continue catwalking across. Uh, I think this is going to be... I'm not really totally prepared to have started recording again. So this is going to be a little bit of me hopping in and out of Splinter. Grabbing the supplies we need uh, to get this job done. Um, but we should be able to do it if I can walk, which if I can't, then we'll just make some walls. All right, put that back. Now I can walk because, yeah, we do need to place a uh, catwalk before we get any further. So that catwalk, this is going to give us a path all the way out to be able to open and close the gate really easy, which isn't always the easiest. Uh, when you're in the water, it's really easy to hop back on the animal instead of closing the gate. So uh, I wanted us to have a good way to reach it. And then you never know, I could end up using these towers for storage. I could put a door frame instead of a window frame right at the end of this catwalk. I feel like it's lining up perfectly with a floor. Right, so here's the trick. I think, I think that'll work, but I may have to delete the windowed wall frame of the tower under this level so that I can get another windowed wall in the wall because there's going to be a little gap there but it might just not be possible see that little gap down at the end oh well, well we'll live with it we got lots of windows and door frames running through here so another hole here or there might not look like the worst thing in the world all right and this is coming together we're going to do this side just like we did the last And place a wall here, place a catwalk here, place another cat. See how the wall doesn't go all the way over? I may have to fix that. Uh, oh, okay, so we got it looking the way we want it. Oh, no, we still. Okay, so there's still a gap between the wall. All right, guys, I got a shark. I got a shark, and we are on the way home. I brought another one with me, but the other two just were getting stuck, so uh, I left him behind. Yes, we still got one with us. Perfect. And we are going to glide these fools right into the pen. At least one of them straight into the pen. Um, now, that being said, you guys have watched this whole video. I ain't dry fitted a thing. And, uh-oh, he's huge. Uh-oh, he's a minivan. And I'm trying to fit him in a compact spot. Uh, the shark pen requires a little redesign. Uh-oh. Uh uh-oh. All right, guys, this video was long enough already. Uh, I already showed you the beginning of the... Oh, stupid Terra. Okay, Terras are great for speed, but they ain't great for flying around. Let's hop on uh, Beast here, and uh, I'll show you. I did most of the work already because this episode was running longer. So that pen, now that I've expanded it, uh, basically I took out the towers and expanded the front, and I threw a behemoth gate on there. That's wide enough. But the pen itself still only fits one shark, so I'm going to build another pen on this side. Hopefully one that'll fit three sharks, because that's how many we got left. I'm going to put walls on the interior, and then I'm going to gate it up, just like I did the other. 
All right, guys, we done. Sorry I hustled through the last bits, but the first part took so long, and I built something that didn't work. So here you go. Three sharks in a pen, and we got a bonus pen over there. If I can ever unstick mixed shark, or if we tame another, like a plesio or something. Perfect. So let's take a look at these guys. We got Dory. We got uh, 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 another, another shark over there. And we got mine. The, the random one we just found floating in the ocean. All right, so let's get you. Okay, there'll be a little perfectionism here, guys. Let me get this the way I like it. This is a feeding trough. I think that's good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so as long as you can get up and down, which you can, you can walk on either side of it. That's going to keep them fed. And there we go, guys. Take a look. This is going to be the outro for this episode. My name is Unite the Clans. Thank you for watching me build a shark pen. And if you're brand new, tune into the rest of this series. I build a lot. See you in the next one. My name is Unite the Clans, and today we are going to be previewing the upcoming Redwood Forest biome that is coming to Ark. And to do so, I have started up a single player world and I force tamed this beast. You can see me riding bareback here. And I'm in a custom map. This is the Wick Willow custom map from the Steam Workshop. And I was playing around with it recently and I stumbled across this island and I thought, with the redwood biome coming to arc, how cool it might be to be able to get a sneak 